<laughs> how you doing? I'm doing good. How you doing? I'm doing well, thank you. So starting off, I wanted to ask, how, what are you most excited for the audience to see in their career? I think the I, what I'm most excited for for the audience to see Maestro is that they're going to learn about Leonard Bernstein in a way that they've never known before. And also, it's to me, it's an emotional film about family and what it is to be married. Um, so I'm excited for people to really learn, you know, who the family was because that's the story we're telling. Um, it's also uh, special for us on the sound side, which is what I do, is for the audience to be able to hear an orchestra in full Dolby Atmos and just feel what it's like to stand in the middle of an orchestra, which is not an experience a lot of people get. Well, honestly, I think that would be something you'd have to ask Bradley, but I would say that the music was important that it was Leonard Bernstein's, uh, sorry, it's important that it's Leonard Bernstein's music, you know, because if you're going to tell his story and he's such an accomplished uh, musician, conductor, composer, y you have to use his music or else, you know, what would be, you know, so it, to me it's nice because the audience will be able to hear this music that is classic but may not be known by a, a newer generation who didn't grow up with them. Yeah, I mean, Bradley has a very um, collaborative production process. He allows ideas from anybody. If anybody has an idea, he allows it. But he has a very he has a very specific way of directing this movie. You'll, you'll see it, and it's it's unlike a lot of movies you see nowadays. There's not a lot of cuts. There's a lot of wide shots, just allowing it to to play out. And I think that it's important for the authenticity of the film and for the characters to just feel like. You know, we're just a, a fly on the wall, and we just get to see what they're what they're doing. And so, for me, I think the important thing was just keeping it authentic, keeping it real. Um, otherwise, you know, the audience the audience is smart; they'll know they'll know if they're they're being had. And I don't think that this is that movie. So, yeah. <laughs> what do you mean? Yeah. Now that the movie's about to be released. Oh, like 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 I look back on it? Yes, yes. Oh, I mean, honestly when you're the, the funny thing is there are some films that feel like a family made the movie. That's this film. And so what I miss the most is just being together with my family making the making the movie together every day. Uh, we got to do that for months, and it was it was beautiful. And the nice thing is, you know, just like family, you'll see them from time to time, but you'll always reconnect. Um, and that's this movie. It, it was a very much a family-made movie. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. So my first question is, congrats, first of all, congratulations on the film and all you're doing tonight. I, I feel great tonight. It's always wonderful to be in New York. Mm -hmm. And um, what was your favorite part about the you know, I think getting some private access to wonderful New York landmarks like backstage at Carnegie Hall or backstage at different theaters on Broadway when we filmed, and, and that was really exciting for me. And how proud are you seeing your contribution from production now on the big screen? Seeing it all come to life is always really exciting to me, and I was just talking to my uh, assistant costume designer, Golly Noy, who's here with me tonight, about, can you believe here we are? And, and she's gonna see it for the first time tonight, and I know she's gonna be so proud of what we were able to accomplish. And how would you describe uh, the onset chemistry? Between? The cast and as well as your, your team. Your side you know, I have, I, uh, I have known Bradley for many years. I did Silver Linings Playbook with Bradley. We did Liquid Pizza together. So we work really well together. I first met, worked with Carrie uh, Mulligan on this film, and I adore her. You know, all of the actors who came in were smart and really just wanted to get it right and, and gave over everything to Bradley, who was such a great leader. I think they'll laugh, I think they'll cry, I think they'll be involved with this amazing love story. Thank you so much. Thank you. So my first question is, first of all, congratulations on the film. It's a wrap, it's here now. So how are you feeling in the session right now? 
Uh, well, I'm feeling grateful to be here. Um, I'm grateful that this strike has been resolved and that uh, writers are able to uh, talk about the work that they've done. Um, and, you know, I'm just really grateful. Uh, you know, it's there's something wonderful about being part of uh, a team that comes together around such a vision. Um, and Bradley, from the get-go, had such an amazing vision for what this film would be. Um, and he is relentless in pursuit of that vision and has been. Um, and it was a joy to be along for the ride. Uh, you know, so I was, uh, I was very much, you know, I, as the writer, right, I spent a couple of years working on a script, um, and then Bradley joined on board as director and star. And uh, I have to say, um, I realized somewhere along the lines that I had barely scratched the surface of what there was to know about Leonard Bernstein. Um, and that adventure I took with Bradley was truly incredible. And, you know, for me, when you talk about chemistry, you know, Bradley and I would sit reading draft after draft after draft of the script out loud. It's a process he likes, which I found extraordinary because you hear things that you don't hear when you're sitting alone at your computer. And it was such a way to wonderfully refine the script. And for me, the first moment when he invited a carry to join in that process, when I got to sit listening to the two of them read, I was like, oh my God, this is going to be amazing. And I think, you know, I think you can see the results from the get-go. There was that chemistry, and I know they worked very hard to turn it into a great marriage. But it was, you know, it was sort of, it felt like it was meant to be from the beginning. My what? Um, you know, it's funny. Um, there's a great Neil Armstrong quote. Uh, which is that uh, everyone wants to be remembered not for one big uh, firework, but for the ledger of their daily work. And for me, it was moments in the trenches with Bradley when I'd write a sk screen and he'd say, that's great. And if Bradley's saying the scene, screen is, scene is great, like, that's a guy who reads a lot of scenes, right? Like, it's sort of just kind of amazing. And then to see how he would play, this, play with the scene and how it would evolve and how it would become part of the, the final product. There's this wonderful scene, uh, which I love, which is actually, uh, it's Carrie and Sarah Silverman, and it's towards the end of the film, and it's when, when Lenny and Felicia have taken a break. And there's something about that scene that, you know, it's, it's stuff that Bradley and I workshop together, and some of it is, you know, stories that are based on the history, and some of them is stuff we workshopped, and, it's just like, to me, it's, it's such a wonderful synthesis. Um, but really, it's, you know, the whole thing is just sort of, and, and the journey was extraordinary. I hope they'll be moved by Lenny's music, uh, much of which I, I think, some of which they'll know and some of which they won't. And I hope they'll find it, to me, what's amazing is that it's really a universal story about marriage. And the the and and the the need for family, and what we all you know the the the, the pacts we all make, you know uh, when we form these relationships that try to last a lifetime, and how challenging and wonderful that can be. And I hope people will will find something relatable in that, you know, even though we're telling a story of two very specific individuals. So first and foremost, I want to ask, like, how are you feeling now that the movie is done? And we're feeling great. We love the movie. Very good. And we, we're so excited and prepared, you know, for everyone to see it and, and really hopeful that everybody likes it. Yeah. yeah. We were at a screening. A long time for this moment. Yeah. And I can hardly believe that we're actually at it tonight. It's just, it's mind boggling. Very exciting. Yeah. Total pinching going on. Yeah. Exactly, a great question. But we are, I mean, the, the fact that Bradley chose to have music throughout and even one piece of music going over or under, however you want to say it, uh, more, you know, two or three scenes. So you're hearing the same piece with different, looking at different things. I and love that. I think and, it's, it's, uh, and to hear our dad's music 
so lovingly included all the way through this film is like the biggest joy for us because we're so crazy about his music. We love his music and so it's great to have this way of sharing it with the world. And it's exquisitely matched to picture. I th and I know that Bradley took exquisite pains to make that happen. Um, he showed us a lot of tr let's try this under that, let's try this picture over this, this piece and he tinkered with it quite a lot. Um, and what and what he ended up with was spot on, very very moving. And, and we hope that people will enjoy the music enough to want to hear it again, uh, because he he uh, over, you know we love his music. He loves his music, and he was always hoping that people would listen to more than West Side Story. Yeah. So maybe yeah, now. they will. There's a lot more. A lot more. Oh, oh, for me? Yeah. Oh, of, of, of tremendous importance. And in fact, it can ruin a film for me. If, 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 if you had completely removed the score of, I will not say the film, but if you'd removed the score, I would have said, yeah, that's a good film. But with that score, forget it. <laughs> I'm well thank you first and I'm feeling amazing this is one of the great moments I think for the music world to have this fabulous fabulous film about someone we all admire all love Lenny uh, come to life in the home where he used to conduct so many concerts I mean this is a, this is a great great day for me and I I pinch myself you know because I'm not doing movies for a living so I feel like maybe that's my only chance <laughs> And how important is musical composition for you? Music, I think, is where the words in the movie and the images uh, can express many things. But music starts where maybe the words fail. And I think in movies, what happens is that we listen to something and the image takes another interpretation. And in the case of this film, uh, Bradley chose the music so carefully and we together crafted something that really I think is accompanying the emotional trajectory and I hope also in addition that people after seeing the movie they're going to want to listen to a lot of Bernstein music. Yeah, I there's something happening, I think, in classical music and film at the moment. There was Tar last year. Uh, I've been advising on two films this year. Uh, this maestro, of course, is so important because it's the talent that's around it, and it's Netflix. I, th I hope that people are going to maybe discover or rediscover the power of symphonic music, and they're going to see, oh, my God, I never heard the Mahler symphony. I want to hear more. Uh, that's the side... Um, benefit I would say of a movie like this is to talk more about what we still create in the world and the beauty we try to bring to the world. <laughs> I mean maybe it's the obvious but there's one crucial scene where it's the last few, five six minutes of Mahler Symphony number no. two recreated Bradley Cooper as Bernstein conducting the London Symphony Chorus and Orchestra. I mean, we spent three days on that scene and I think this scene is one of the greatest things. It's virtuosic for him, but also it's so emotional, so that's what I'm looking for the most. Thank you so much for your time. I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you.